well, it's day 10, which is the penultimate day of the festival. And we've still got loads of exciting things coming up for you, including the film of the day, The Imaginarium of Dr. Panassas, directed by Terry Gilliam and featuring the last performance of Heath Ledger. Also, seeing as Can is still kicking, I'm going to see what the beautiful people are wearing. Not only that, but I'm going to be attending the award ceremony of the film festival, The Palm Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, James, which is an award not for the worst film in competition, but for the best dog in competition. But before all that, we're going to hear from Terry Gilliam, who is talking about the late, great Heath Ledger. When, when Heath died, um, I went down to L.A. and spent a day with the family. And, uh, and you know, you start crying, and then we start laughing. And, okay, it's going to be a positive thing. It's going to be a celebration of Heath. What was, really, what was important for me was just to make the film and have Heath's last performance up there alive and well, and, and I think they're going to be delighted by it. And it's, uh, I've been very lucky because you know, Heath died over a year ago, but I've been working with him almost every day in the cutting room, so he's been alive and well. So it's slightly different for me. The, the choice I made was to close the film down. I thought we had to close the film down. I didn't see how we could finish it without Heath um, because we were in the middle of production. He had done approximately half of his role, and that was it. But fortunately, I was surrounded by you know, really good people who insisted that I couldn't be such a lazy bastard, and I better go out and find a way of finishing the film for Heath. And um, that's what we did, and we, we discussed for a long time of whether one actor could take the part, and I felt that was impossible, and I didn't think it was respectful, and I didn't think it was, would work at all. And, because we had the magic mirror, and Heath goes through it three times, I thought, okay, three actors, that would be the way to approach it. It's much more interesting, it's more surprising. And so I, I started calling friends, Johnny Depp, and he said, I'm there. And I basically was just calling people who knew and loved Heath, because I didn't, I, that had to be the nature of what we were doing. And, um, and, and we end up with Colin and Jude and Johnny taking over the parts. The whole experience is weird and difficult. Um, just because you're you're mourning somebody and at the same time you're immediately going back to work and um, and it's such an unusual environment where you're you're presented with actors who are playing reminders of that character and that person you know and and I, I certainly found it weird doing that for the first time one on one and I think it's a testament to how good those three actors were also at playing uh, Tony's character um, and yeah of course the whole experience was strange and weird but as Terry said there was a kind of uh, a really like good-hearted kind of like love and understanding I think between the cast and the crew as to why we were doing it and um, and that kind of just carried it through you know and and, and, and it was strange I, it was nice to work that way where you're not actually clear where you're going and you're letting a thing grow in a kind of organic way and uh, it continued to grow that's what's so extraordinary about this film to me is that with Heath, Heath's death it had to keep growing it had to you know, change to deal with reality, no matter how much imagination is out there. It's the thing that gets you through the worst sides of reality. And that's what happened on this film. So the film is very much, the ideas of the film are what the film is. <laughs>